All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back for part two on On Track with Mike. Now, I told you I had two questions. I was going to ask Kenny Gear here. Here's the questions. Now, Kenny, last year you picked up your first and thus far your only late model win en route to your championship. Now, no driver necessarily wants to go down in the history books as being the driver that won a championship without winning a race. And you got the one, the sole victory last year. So on so many different levels, how important was that for you to get that victory? Oh, it was it was very important. I uh, thought it would never happen. We had finished, I think, second three weeks in a row before we got the win. Uh, it's so hard. The cars are so good that we race against. And uh, just to beat the people that have been doing it for years in maybe you know some of them are better financed you know it just uh it it was just unbelievable for us to win the race uh at that point we didn't even think about a championship but uh you know it's just i'm, I'm so glad that it happened and I, I hope i get a lot more this year well i'll tell you what for those out there that may not know kenny I, i've known you for two or three years truly one of the nicest people you're going to meet in the pit area and most late model drivers, probably all the late model drivers you talk to, be hard pressed to find anybody that's going to say a negative word about Kenny. But this year, you could take that number 12 Masters built and possibly paint a target, a bullseye, because you're the one that everyone's going to shoot for. Everybody, despite how much they like you. They're ready to dethrone Kenny Gear off the championship pedestal. So now you're going to come in as the champion, knowing they're looking at Kenny Gear. So how do you approach this season, and can you get two championships in a row? I think I can. Uh, just I have to keep my you know focus every night, uh, minimize my mistakes on the track. You know. Uh, the, the, the cleaner I drive, the better finish I'm going to have. Uh, you know, we don't have any problems with, you know, I, I, I didn't wreck once last year. So uh, I'm going to just take what the car give me every night, and if it's ninth or first, so be it. You know, we're going to do the best we can with what we got, and uh, I don't think I'm the favorite going into this year, and I didn't think it last year, so nothing's changed. We're just going to do the best we can. And we'll be happy with whatever we get. Well, truly, as you were talking about, the number of top five finishes had consistency really paid off for you. Now, this year, uh, the Steel Block Bandits returning to Eastside, a couple of double hitters with Natural Bridge Eastside Speedway. Of course, some of the, the best competition within the Mid-Atlantic is going to come in and race there. Also, the three state flyers, super late models making its first visit to Eastside Speedway. And, of course, I know a lot of the steel block late model guys try to qualify for those events when the three-state flyers come in. So talk about possibly competing with the three-state flyer series, the steel block bandit series, and trying to stack up against some of that type of competition. I'm very excited about the bandit race. Uh, I think we can – I think we've got a top five car uh, at the bandit race if everything goes well. Uh, the super late race that we have there this year, we're definitely going to give it a shot, providing the car is, you know, is sound and in good shape. Hopefully we can uh, represent Eastside Speedway well at, that night for the, you know, the super late race. Uh, I hope it's good and slick. That way, you know, the big horsepower motors won't run away from us and hide. Well, the, the steel block bandits went to the all 358 engine rule uh, for this year. Um, and hopefully that was put in place to kind of even the playing field. So how do you feel that the, the east side drivers will stack up? And, 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 again, it's not so much the steel block bandits against the east side drivers. It's an open, open um, registration membership to the series this year. Anybody's eligible. They'll score the same amount of points. But how do you feel about that new 358 rule that they have as far as coming in with the east side? I really think that, uh, you know, the 358 rule uh, at Eastside, well, for the bandits everywhere, we'll, we'll definitely will help them. Uh, hopefully we can run more bandit races this year. Uh, it's definitely going to give, you know, the guys that run every week at Eastside, you know, your, your Joe Level, Greg Robertson, Kenny Gear. Uh, I think one of us probably have a good chance of bringing 
the trophy home for the bandit race. Uh, of course, Greg would be tough, you know, whenever he's there. But I don't. I hope I'm either in front of him or real close behind him. Well, obviously, I didn't want to get too sidetracked off on the other series because primarily you're going to be racing at East Side this year. But again, before we give you a chance to thank the people that help you get it done, as we wrap things up, talk about the competition at East Side Speedway this year. And, and some of these drivers, because truly some of the best drivers in the Shenandoah Valley are right here at Eastside Natural Bridge Speedway. A lot of great competition coming for you this year. Oh, yeah. There, I think we averaged 18 cars last year. And out of that 18, I'm not sure, but I think we had eight or nine different winners. Uh, when they dropped a green that anyone in the top 10 or 12 cars can win, uh, you know, it's 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 it's... It's full of uh, very good equipment and very good drivers. Uh, I, I'm just honored and fortunate that I am able to race there. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, Kenny is exactly right. If you go to Eastside Speedway, they have one of the best car counts for late models um, in, in the Mid-Atlantic. And you're right. I mean, you can see eight to ten different guys. They've either won a race already or are capable of winning a race. Um, but I just want to give you a chance. You know, you've got the championship now. You're trying to make it two in a row. But you're a great driver. But obviously, like any driver, they can't do it alone. And just want to give you a chance to thank all the people that help you do it, sponsors, and to just go ahead right out here for the World Wide Web. Well, most of all, my family. You know, they put up with a lot, help me a lot on the car. Uh, that's the most important thing. Uh, Ferguson. John Maddox with Ferguson. He's he's uh, he's been with me for two and a half years. Uh, I couldn't do it without him. Uh, Marvin Hicks. Uh, he builds my motors. Uh, I think I've got the best engine builder in the business. Uh, JD Race Car Parts. Tommy Hoy. Bruce Kane with All About Doors and All About Wraps. And I I think that's Kenny Gear Plumbing. If you need plumbing work, give us a call. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, I'll tell you what. Last question here, because we got you here kind of on the spot here a little bit. But Kenny Gear, the family man, the late model champion, what is the one thing that you'd like to tell the fans about Kenny Gear that those that come to the grandstands and sit maybe might not know about you, just about you in general? What, what's, what, what is Kenny Gear about? Wow. Uh, quiet, shy. As you can tell, uh, just uh, tr try to keep people as fairly as possible. Uh, I just love being around my family, love being at the racetrack. Uh, I wouldn't trade my life with anybody. Well, that, that sounds great, Kenny. Kenny, I really appreciate you taking time. I know it's late here. You've practiced all day. You said you had to work in the morning, but uh, thank you very much for being on track with Mike. Okay, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can check this video out, obviously, on eastsidespeedway.com, also on steelblockbandits.com. I'll be posting this on my personal Facebook, and then you can share it with all your friends, and we'll keep Kenny Gear out there front and see if he can race down championship number two. So for Kenny Gear, I'm on track with Mike. My name is Mike Donald. We'll see you down the road with more interviews.